Hi, my name is Paul Parnas. I work for Front Range Anglers. And this afternoon I was thinking about fishing in lakes, and uh, which made me think about damselflies. And so I thought I might tie a version of a damselfly uh, for you this afternoon using a variety of materials that we have here in the shop. Uh, we're going to be using uh, Dyricky hooks. We could be using TMC hooks. These happen to be uh, 060s uh, in a size 16 but uh, you can also use a TMC hooks in a 3761 which is a good option. Uh, we'll be using um, some Lagarten thread 95 denier. This is a new thread that we're carrying. It's a terrific very strong thread. It's relatively flat and you'll see one more time with it. Uh, we've got uh, some uh, nymph stretch skin that we'll be using for uh, the top, the body, and uh, you'll see how that goes on. Some amnesia for the eyes, and I'll show you how we'll make those. Uh, this happens to be red amnesia. You can use any heavy monofilament, 40-pound uh, test or better. Um, and that's about it. Oh, and dubbing. We'll be using um, some SLF dubbing, and we'll be using some just some ordinary green dubbing um, for the body. We're going to start with the eyes, and I'm going to cut a, about a half inch piece of the monofilament, and I'm going to put it in here, and then I will burn both ends so that it'll ball up. Let it go down right to the end. Move it just a little bit. Do the other side. And then right down to the end. Okay, so I'm going to be using some UV fly paint in a red color to enhance and extend the eyes so that it'll be just a little bit larger. And all I'm going to do is just put just a little bit on there. Just enough to and wrap it around, do it on both sides. One side, and on the other. All right, I've taken a, a, a group of fibers, and I've tied an overhand knot uh, in the end, which helps me, uh, it helps me control this for mounting it on the hook. So let's, let's start with the thread here. I'll start the thread just about a little bit forward of the, a little bit three quarters of the way, bring it all the way towards the back, back forward, about halfway, right where I want it. I want this tail to be about one and a half times the length of the hook shank. That's about right. Clip that off. Okay. Now I'm going to put my eyes on. And I'll take those and put those back. Just right kind of on the end there. And figure eight wrap those on. I'm going to hit that with just a little bit of super glue. Make sure that it stays there. I like to use uh, super glue in these containers with the brush. It's a whole lot easier. So I just take a little bit, put it right on the top. Okay, so we have our our tail on, our eyes on, and now we're going to put a dub a body. And I'm just going to use some fairly light green or light olive dubbing for this, nothing fancy. Usually you want to, you want the thorax to be fairly fat with big eyes and a fairly slim body. So we're about ready, so we'll lay that on there. Just roll that on up. That's about it. Pull that down. And I am going to be using this stretch skin from Hairline. And I've taken and I just put a little point on there so it's easy to, to lay in there. So I'm going to lay it right across the eyes, catch it with the thread. 
roll it forward. Okay. This is a really simple pattern to tie, and you can tie it with a lot of different variations on body material. Now I'm going to use this um, SLF Whitlock dubbing. I really like this stuff. This is a, a, a blended pattern. This happens to be the Red Fox Squirrel, but uh, it comes in a variety of different colors. I like it because it's got a blended flash in it. So, okay. And I'm going to put this on by splitting my thread. I, this 95 thread from Lagarton splits fairly easy, not quite as easily as some, but needle to split my thread. So instead of doing a dubbing loop, which is thicker than I would like, I've got this, and I'll take my dubbing, and I'm going to lay that in here. Now I could tie this with rubber legs, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. Okay, got a little bit more than I want. See, doesn't that look nice? That nice, got a little sheen to it. It's going to look really great. Now I'm going to lay that right in behind the eyes, a couple wraps across the eyes, back, one more round. And then to the front. Pretty simple. Now I'm going to tie. <clears throat> I'm going to tie in some legs. First thing. Okay, we're going to use some of this trigger point EP fiber for the legs. I'm just going to take a few strands, maybe ten or so. And I'll just lay it around the hook like that, or lay it around the thread, I should say. A couple wraps, cut it, go to the other side, lay it on there, a couple wraps, there we go, cut it. The stretch material is really nice because you can pull it pretty tight. And as you pull it tight, I'm just going to pull it around, stretches out a couple more times, pull it up, tie in front, one more, pull it up, okay, do a whip finish. Now we can trim the tail, pull that up right behind the knot, maybe an eighth of an inch. Take this out, turn it over, push the fibers together, trim those on an angle. I want it to just kind of trail and look shaggy, just a little bit. Remember I had that UV paint, and I'm going to coat this back to give it a little bit more sheen, a little bit more red color to it. So, and I'm going to use a bodkin, and just take a little drop of that out, just a little bead of it, lay it right on the top there. And I'm just going to push it down towards the eye, back. I don't want it to get in the material because it'll make kind of a mess. Hit that with the light. This will have a, a UV color in the water, just like the eyes will. So it'll really look great. There we, there we are. We're all done. Looks real buggy and there'll, there'll be a lot of movement with these fibers in the water. And as, as I retrieve this, this tail will kind of swing back and forth. It's a real good fish catcher.